para salir de Barcelona te das cuenta de lo que Once you actually leave Barcelona, you realize what you've done. Tiene un reconocimiento. There, everybody admires you and recognizes you for what you have done for the club as well as the national team. I think that what we achieved at Barça was remarkable, and it's important that we enjoy that and feel proud of everything that we did. And now that I've taken a step back from that elite group, I can see that I enjoyed it a great deal. In May 2015, Xavi Hernández waved an emotional farewell to his boyhood club Barcelona after his final appearance at the Nou Camp. It was an amazing feeling, an incredible send-off for a footballer, to leave having won the treble, to end my time with that reception from the fans, and to be able to leave through the front door, I really couldn't have asked for any more. After 24 years with Barcelona and a cabinet full of silverware, Xavi is enjoying a new challenge in Qatar. Playing for Al Sadd in Doha, he's taking his first steps towards coaching at the world-renowned Aspire Academy. I'm very happy because it wasn't an easy decision to leave Barcelona. And well, this opportunity allowed me to stay involved with football. The Qatari league is obviously not the same level as European leagues, like the Spanish league. But I was surprised by the technical quality. There are many talented footballers. The evolution of the country's top flight football reflects Qatar's determination to establish itself on the sporting world stage. The Aspire Academy was created to find and to develop the best young Qatari athletes. Aspire is the project of an entire country. We work with 14 different sports, but football is the most important, and we're still improving. Aspire is the daily ambition of many professionals and passionate people who share a dream of taking Qatar as far as possible in international football. The work is similar to La Masia. It's a fantastic football academy where they have a great eye for details. I'm learning many things in terms of coaching and most of all in terms of methodology and about the workings of the technical staff. I'm learning a bit of everything and I'm seeing how things work behind the scenes. It's all relevant and good for me to experience. At Aspire, football development is helped by state-of-the-art facilities. We want to speak the player's language, which is now audio-visual, through videos. The players see what they're doing live, so that they can check the strength, technique, coordination, cardio levels. Every movement and action in the gym gets immediate feedback through the videos. But we also use them to enhance motivation and competition. So every time a team steps into the gym, it finds customized videos for its players. The benefits are being felt. The players that won Qatar's maiden AFC Under-19 championship in 2014 and qualified for the 2015 FIFA Under-20 World Cup all graduated from the academy. The ambition is to continue to build as Qatar prepare to host the 2022 World Cup. We gave ourselves a deadline, 2022, then we sealed that in a box. We have to forget that goal, and we have to work day by day, year by year. So whenever people ask, how's the 2022 team, the 2022 team doesn't exist. We know that's the goal, but what matters for the team is today, and slowly we'll get there. I think we're on the right path, and we can be optimistic. And World Cup winner Xavi is helping prepare the hosts for 2022 and gaining valuable coaching experience. The plan is that Xavi will be incorporated into everything, that he'll be our engine. He was recently involved in a project with the Olympic squad, and now he started with the under-19s, and we want him to work with the under-17s, so he understands our methodology. It's an exciting project for me and for my family. I'm able to work alongside my brothers at an incredible academy. You can see how good the facilities are. They're doing a great job. My brothers and I have to make sure this project is a positive thing for the country in the run-up to the World Cup in 2022.